speak for a second about multimodality. Uh, what is available today in GPT-5? And then what do you have uh, planned in the coming months if you're able to share uh, about different modalities uh, for inputs? Um, so we still have the same uh, multimodal feature set as our previous models. You know, they can do images in, they can do um, audio in. So they're, they're perceptual models and um, they're also able to do kind of image generation. I, I do really kind of think of perception as a core part of intelligence. And one thing that we've highlighted in previous demos in, in O3 and O4 Mini, for instance, is the ability for a model to take a very complex image, to analyze it, to really find the important parts and extract and kind of foveate around the image and understand uh, what's the most important part for, for answering the query. Um, GPT-5 is much more efficient at doing the same kind of task. Um, when you give it visual perception tasks, it's able to cut the kind of thinking time that it needs to extract the information by several factors. And um, that's kind of what we're seeing across the board in terms of GPT-5's reasoning ability. It's just much more efficient. It's faster at getting you the reasoning that you need for your task.